Hello and welcome everyone to a very special episode of Parliament of Owls. My name is Jake. I'm going to be the GM of this group. And by this group, I mean the single soul individual. Well, soul, soulless, I guess you're going to have to be the judge of that. Uh, I go by he, him, but I will be playing, well, a lot of different people. So keep up. But... What about you, Valkyrie? Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you're playing, and where people can reach you. Hi, everyone. I am super excited about this. Uh, I haven't I haven't been in this world in a bit, so I'm very happy to be back. Uh, my name is Valkyrie, Valkyrie Star XO on pretty much everything. Um, I'm playing Mara, uh, who is she, her. I also go by she, her, so that's pretty easy. Um, and she is a tiefling rogue and a little, little, little sprinkle of sorcerer in there. Um, I am super excited about today. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know if that comes across. It's like, I haven't rolled dice in a while. I want to roll dice. Well, let's get into it then. Yeah. Amara, you are very young. Before any of this ever even happened to you, before you met your buff, strong demon friend. <laughs> My buddy. <laughs> your buddy? <laughs> My buddy. <laughs> How old are you? Oh, gosh. Uh, at that point, probably like seven or eight seven or eight yeah, so pretty young you're walking down the streets and really by walking i mean you're being kind of dragged by your father as you're walking through the streets of your hometown and by this time in your life it's like the third or fourth or even fifth place that you've lived and you've never really been able to gather any roots or any friends because you continuously move. It's raining heavily as you're being drugged through the streets. And you're not quite sure where you're going. And every single time you speak to your father, he pulls on your arm a little bit harder to just continue to get you to keep moving. Every single time you ask that question, you can feel his fingers gripping tighter around your wrist, not saying a word and continuously looking away. Hmm. So I don't recognize anything of where we're going. You're just going through streets and alleyways. You can see people inside of bars and restaurants with next to candlelight and fire all happy and smiling. But you're being drugged through the muck in the streets. Mm. I sort of dig my heels in a little bit and like pull back with all the very few pounds that I am. Probably ask again. Papa, where are we going? Like, why, why are you dragging me? You're hurting me. Child, be quiet. And he tugs on your arm uh, even harder. It isn't long until you are in some sort of back alley and at, at one of the doors and he bangs on the door. Now, be quiet. Don't say a word, okay? Uh, I said okay! Uh, okay, yes. And he stays there standing. A little slat opens up, and you see two pairs of eyes look through. And you can see them looking at him, and then looking down at you. No words are exchanged, and the slat closes. And the door unlocks, and opens up. He squats down and he gets to your height I'm gonna be back as soon as I can but you're gonna need to go and stay with these people okay it's gonna be fine it's I'm gonna be back in like one hour in an hour just an hour okay you promise 
pinky swear, and he puts his pinky out. And the door opens, and there's no one there. You just see the blackness of a room that hasn't even a single candle. And he, as soon as you let go of his pinky, he kind of grabs you and puts you up on the steps and, and gives you a little bit of a nudge into this room. Okay. Um, love you, Papa. And the person behind the door walks out and you briefly see him or it you're not quite sure as the door closes and it goes outside and you can possibly overhear what your father and this person are saying roll me a d20 I swear to god if this is shit <laughs> Not one? Not one. <laughs> you try to put your little ear up against the wood, but are quickly distracted by something moving in the room itself. And you can almost hear a growl. Okay. Do I see anything? What is your name? Uh... Um, Mara? Yes. Tell him that she'll do. And you see someone walk through the door and stand directly behind you. I. What? Why? What's happening? We move forward about six months as you have been living with these weird creatures and things. Weirdly enough, you actually feel comfortable as you are with the first kind of people that don't judge you for the fact that you are partially tifling. And by partially, I mean the fact that you are a tifling. They don't judge you for that. In fact, they praise it. They enjoy it. They want you to emphasize that side of yourself. That one hour clearly turned into months. It turned into years. As you get trained over the years to go out and do things, collect debts, using your childish charm to get people to come in and accept your help, or even sometimes even pretend like you're weak or injured, and people will come and help you while you allow your friends to deal with them. You're always told that they're bad men, or bad women, and that they are taken out or dealt with away from you. As you get older, you turn 16, by this time you understand what really is going on. And you've been traveling to a new destination. You're in a caravan with your companion him whenever out in public wearing a heavy black cloak and always hiding in the shadows. He sits across from you, not saying a word. So you're just going to sit there? No talking, no games. I mean, this is a long ride. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Like, what do, what do people talk about? Like, what do you do? What, what do I do? You For, like, fun. Well, besides the constant torture and listening to those who have 
done wrong scream that's beautiful music i love that you ever listen to it if i could capture that sound and listen to it over and over again i would yeah but that's work what about like like fun stuff go on you have to have something fun you like to do uh, well okay all right hold on and he kind of looks around, even though you two are the only two people in this caravan, mm -hmm. he kind of stops <laughs> and looks around and he pulls his cloak over his head, revealing his horns and his demonic face. And he goes, all right, there's this really cool little device I've got. I keep mm -hmm. it to myself, but it's fun. And he pulls out this small mirror. It's like a hand mirror. That, that you would see someone hold up and look at themselves with. And he puts it in your hand and he goes, think of anyone, anyone in the entire world. Hmm. I mean, the only other person outside of my friends here is my father. So I probably think of him. And as you look into the mirror, you, in fact, see your father sitting at a table. Money all around the table, and he's sitting there and he's sweating heavily. And the person behind the dealer's position looks up and goes, well, that was your last buck. What do you got next? You out? Um. Uh. No, I, I, I can win this back. I need to win this back. Um. I like. I, I don't have anything, but I, I, I. One more hand. One more hand. All right. Uh. Well, if you've got nothing, then uh, why shouldn't I just throw you out on your ass right now? No, no, no. Um. I know you guys. I know. I know you guys. Um, souls, right? Sometimes you, you deal with souls. What if, what if I give you my soul? <laughs> Your soul is completely worthless. You've blackened it to just a point that it isn't even good enough to pull out the disgusting parts out of my teeth. No. If you want to trade souls, you need to trade something that's actually got some value. Uh, my daughter. Damn, dude, that's fucked up. Even for me. As you kind of see that this person is also a demon that is dealing the cards. But it's, it's a deal. And he reaches out his hand. And you're, you see your father hesitate, but reach in and grab, grab a hand. And the mirror starts to go foggy. See, that is what I love that. I love fucking with people like that. Because now you're all fucking sad and shit. <laughs> Makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like. Throw it back at him. He he grabs it and puts it. He goes, "Come on, you you don't have you don't still have like I don't know feelings over that shit, do you? Really? I mean, he was all I have had. Ugh. He threw me away. So clearly, he didn't think anything of you. So you shouldn't think any of him. Look." Look, all right, I clearly, I clearly crossed the line, made you sad, funny for me, but still, I get it, I get it. I'll make it up. How? Have you ever seen someone's face as you take away their life? Go on. He opens his his other side of his his cloak and he pulls out a dagger and he 
maneuvers it in a way like that between his fingers. And then he holds the, the butt of it to you. Go on, take it. Sort of reach out very slowly and grips the handle. It's as soon, a bit a bit heavy, but <laughs> as soon as you take it, uh he lets go and goes, I'll give you the honors tonight. How's that sound? It's not the same thing, but it was someone that gambled their uh their life away. I mean it will do for now. Like, eventually I will get to do that, right? What? Gamble your life away? <laughs> no. Like, oh, are we allowed to take personal revenge? Or is it just... Not unless things? their name is on the list. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> if their name is off the list and you do something to fuck it up... Well, let's just say chaos magic is definitely a thing and you just fucked with the wrong butterfly. Okay, well, I guess this will do. We have a very, very strict set of rules, okay? Look, we got people on, on the list. We gotta, we can kill them. Past that, yeah, your, your, your murders or your, your fun time is in... As Modi's hands, so just be aware of that. All right. I mean, you keep telling me not to make him angry, so I guess I won't. Oh hell no! Oh man, <laughs> when I used to work in there and used to do some of the work directly with him, like we still work with him, right? We go and we collect things, but nah, no, no, no. Working in that hellhole, and I don't, and I'm using that word in all <laughs> means of its word. Oh my god. And he continues to go on and tell you stories about just weird things that he used to do to people that had done horrible things in their lives and had signed over contracts to Asmodeus. And Asmodeus had continuously just, just turned whatever horrible thing that they did in life and used it as a means to just continuously torture them in the afterlife. And your friend here, was one of the people that got to administer that pain. Oh my god, that that is really fucked up. But that is so cool. <laughs> what can I tell you? He continues to tell you more and more stories until it's time for your mission. You get to your destination. And he puts his cloak on. And it kind of shimmers with a way. You know it's him. But others see him differently. They'll actually walk into him and speak to him as if he weren't a six foot seven demon. And he looks down at you and goes, All right, we're going to go in here. And all we have to do is stab him in the throat. That's it. He's asleep, it's an easy job. You think you can do it by yourself? Yeah. All right. Like I'm she holds the dagger up. <laughs> I'm going to stay out here. Okay. Call me if you need help. All right. Okay. All right. And he leans up against the, the next to the door and he reaches over and he touches the handle. And as he touches the handle, you can see the handle itself bubbling. And, and oozing as it is extremely hot in his hands and the handle itself just melts and the door just oh you need to teach me how to do that yeah um, well once you live about three millennia maybe but until uh, then you've got a job to do go for it okay by the way can I say like I'm not seeing him I'm seeing the glamour but I just no, no. You, because you know it's an illusion, you see him. Okay. But okay. everyone else sees like an extremely tall elf. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn to him anyway before I sneak in and be like, "By the way, you look so ugly like this." Okay, bye. <laughs> I know. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> She's already sneaking in. <laughs> yeah. So, 
my young, untrained individual. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> roll me a d20 with no modifications, no changes for your stealth check. <laughs> Please don't fuck me again, please. Oh, it's a nine. I'm you... gonna throw this die out. <laughs> it's in dice jail. It's in dice jail now. You sneak around, and as you are going, you hit things that you didn't really notice at first, but you're able to grab the vase before it lands on the ground. So you're you're not the most silent, but you're also uh, you're not like crashing down the building loud, you know, you're, you know, and you sneak over and you sneak to the room that you think belongs to this person and you open the door and you see two people laying in the bed. Oh, shit. And I only have one on my contract, don't I? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, which is the closest to me right now? Is it the one on the contract or the other person? Uh, roll me another 20 to even see anything. Don't fuck me now. 17. Yeah, switching dice. You look over and you look at the name on it. And the name that is on there is Herbert. Clearly a masculine name. Uh, male name, and you can see that there is someone that I that uh, presents male and one that presents female. So it's pretty <laughs> clear to you which one is probably the target. He's wearing monogram pajamas with H on them. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, Herbert, I can't. Okay, um, so they're closest. Herbert is closest or furthest away? Yeah, closest to you. Cool. Um. I'm going to try and be as quiet as possible. Okay. And... Would you like I, to keep your nine, or would you like to roll a new stealth? Can I try rolling a new stealth? <laughs> Thank yes. you. Thank you, our merciful GM. <laughs> <laughs> that's better 12. <laughs> so that's 12 is better than a nine. It is. You move closer, and as you get up to the bed... Herbert, who was facing in your direction, oh, she rotates and turns the opposite direction. Fuck. Okay, no, this can work. This can work. Uh, how close is the other person to Herbert in that bed? Um, maybe like eighteen inches. I literally just calculated that in centimeters. <laughs> um, no, okay, okay, that's that's decent space. Um, okay, so I'm still gonna go as quietly as humanly possible. Uh, well, inhumanly possible, I guess. Um, and try and, like, cover his mouth as much as I can and, like, do it in one, like, really swift thing. So, like, mouth slash kind of thing, like I've seen yep. Roll the me big a guy do. Roll me a 20. 18 yeah nice. fuck that other day <laughs> you wrap over and you wrap over his mouth and as soon as your hand touches he goes mm! and you and he's looking at you as he's starting to like gurgle as you can see the blood starting to like like bubble around on his throat as he's trying to breathe, but he's but it's just blood going in it, and he's just looking up at you as you can see the vacancy of his eyes dissipate. And in that moment, you look at his eyes and they look just like your father's as you hold his mouth, and he's got the same brown eyes, and you start to move your hand away, and it looks like he's got the same mustache and you're like, did I just, and as he falls back onto the bed, it's not your father, but boy, did it give you a rush of adrenaline as you accomplished your goal, as you got to see this happen. And you get that little bit of relief, that little bit of maybe one day. Okay. 
for like a very brief second after she like drops him down she sort of looks down at the dagger and looks down at that and is like I can get used to that that will do for now and then tries and leaves as quickly as quietly as possible yeah. <laughs> before that other person wakes up to a corpse uh you get outside and you see your your friend outside standing there and goes well how'd it go i did it and he pulls out the contract and sure enough you see a scratch go across the name and goes ah did a great job you want to see something funny yeah he bangs on the door and he stands there for a minute goes start walking and he starts to walk, and then all of a sudden you hear a ah, this this extremely loud, high pitched <laughs> scream of this woman, and he goes, "You did good, kid." As <laughs> as the two of you walk away, undiscovered, heading back into your caravan, as the two of you sit there again. Now this goes on once at least a week, then it starts to pick up. You're doing two, three names a week now. You're you've become a very busy group, and this goes on for a good year or two. Your friend here has never given you a name. And you know that why the reason of this is because you've worked with demons before, you know their name, you have power over them. What do you call? your friend um i think i've just taken to calling him batya you are sitting in the caravan moving on to your next goal how old are you now like i don't know like 200 years 300 years now like how old are you i no i'm like how old am I at this point? Oh my god! It's well, you were like, you were sixteen, 16. and I said a couple years. So you tell me, so it's probably eighteen. Okay, so it's like, uh, no, I'm like eighteen, like like one eight, like not a hundred and eight. No, uh, <laughs> just, it must just feel like a hundred years with, when I'm with you. Ugh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thanks very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm just messing with you. So, yeah, no. okay. So this next one's going to be a real fun one. Okay. So this one, we actually have to make messy. This one, we actually have to do it in public. Okay. You have my attention. Mayor of a city has been uh, extorting all of his citizens and has been uh, doing this and has sold his soul for popularity. But a part of that deal was to, to close the church in the local area. And you know what he hasn't done? Close the church. No. Yeah. So he didn't fulfill his end of the bargain. So it's our time to go finish it off. But the big man kind of wants to make it a big deal. So, you know what? No, I had an what? idea, but I want you to tell me how we're going to make this a big deal. Oh, okay. Okay. Note of the um, thing. Mm -hmm. His death itself doesn't need to be public. Just that his death is public. Do you, do you get what I mean? Uh, I got what you mean. Okay. Okay. How about this? So, big public figure, right? Mm -hmm. Probably has some place that he likes to grandstand and talk about how great he is and how big his tiny cock is, right? <laughs> so... What if we do away with him and then make a very public display of what happens exactly where he likes to pontificate? Or, or, oh, I think I like this one better now. Oh, okay. All right. The church. Mm -hmm. You're not getting me yet? 
No, no, no. I, I get you where you're going. I want to know mm. if you can finish it. What about the church? Well, like the church is typically have that big pointy thing at the front, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just saying he could make an excellent like little shish kebab. Or, or I can, I've got some chains. Like Ooh. Big, uh, the display would be good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And then, like, would would it be too much to do like like a little like symbol to the to the boss with what, blood on the what, church? What if? Well, hmm. okay. So maybe let's not do that because if if people here know that it's yeah, as uh, now, that yeah, but yeah. but let's take his blood. Because I believe that church has got a big round stained glass window. What if we take <gasps> his blood and make it look like wings? Oh, I like that. Yeah. You're so artistic. Do you like draw or something on no, the side? I, no. In no. between the torturing. I mean, I consider the torturing itself an art, but you know, of, of course, you paint, always say, draw, always. Sculpt. I can't do that. Uh -huh. I can sculpt. Like, I will tell you, I can sculpt some meat. That's just for sure. Like if you, <laughs> ah, okay, all right, all right. No, I like your plan. Okay. Wings, chains, the whole shebang. I like it. So the two of you manage to complete your task at hand. You take him out, and you're in the process of setting his his body up as. The two of you are up on the roof with chained in hand, trying to pull him up. Okay, all right, Ugh. all right. You've got to actually pull some weight this time because, I, like, I can't be in two places at once. Uh huh. Are you telling me that I don't carry my weight? No, no. I I just mean that mm -hmm. you have, technically you have to carry half of his weight. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah, talk says, says, says the big, strong, strong demon man. Look, do you want me to fly him up there with my big old <laughs> wings and then everyone see me? No, I think that's a dumb idea. All right. All right, Papachka, let's go. Let's get him up there. One of these days, I'm going to make you tell me what the fuck that word means, okay? <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh, God. You know, it's better than, hey there, dude, which is like 90%, <laughs> and it doesn't matter. The two of you st like start pulling his his body up and start attaching the chain, and he goes, "All right, I'm gonna go down. I'll make the the wings. I'll climb on the wall and I'll do the wings with his blood and stuff. Do me a favor, just keep your eyes out while I do it. We need to make sure no one sees, and if someone does see, we got to do the whole like you didn't Big. see us. Whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, yeah." Uh, and he starts to climb down on like all fours as he's starting to like climb down and start to dig into this guy's back and just like pull out just like a hunk of meat and use it as like a sponge to start drawing on it. Roll me a d20 to see if you see anyone. 19. We're progressively getting better. <laughs> hey, eventually we'll hit a 20 and then we'll go back to the one. And back to one. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> you're looking out, and as you're doing this, you see someone walking, more like stumbling down the street. Hmm. Is it usual drunken kind of stumbling that I'm used it looks, to saying? It looks like hmm. it. Anyone else? Is he drawing anyone else's attention? No, he's just kind of walking down the street a little bit drunk. Okay. I'll keep an eye, but I mean, who's going to believe the word of a drunk? He stumbles along and he looks up at, at, at what you're doing. <sighs> I sort of like... He's all good. <laughs> he looks up, he rubs his eyes, and then he just like turns around and starts walking away. I bet their family is so proud. Can't even tell demons right in front of him. <laughs> Yikes. The two of you finish the job, and <laughs> the next morning when you normally, actually, normally you would leave right away, 
But for some reason, he's decided that he wants to stay another day. I, are we are we here for fun? We having a holiday, working holiday? No, 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 no. I no. just think it might be fun mm. to hear all the hubbub about everything. Oh, you just want to see what everyone thinks of your pretty angel wings up there with your little look. Little I spent sponge. I spent a lot of time on it. All right, I, I made know. It look, I was standing there. I made it look like feathered wings. It looks so good. What? <laughs> what? Nothing. You're always like this. It's a breath of fresh air without the. Uh, well, with a little bit of sulfur, but not as much as look, look other demons we deal you, with. You will get used to the sulfur smell. Trust me. <laughs> it, you, you, you go down there and you, like when I take a deep breath in, I'm like, ah, oh, I miss the sulfur. But yeah, I get it. I get it. All right. And he goes, I'm gonna go out. Just keep, uh, just keep your nose down. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna look around myself. You do what you gotta do, but um. Let's just say uh, I'll meet you. I'll meet you at the inn around nine p.m. How's that sound? Okay. Do I have any money on me? Yes. Sweet. Oh yeah, you get you get treated fairly well. You get treated fairly well for your work. Like, not only do you have expenses, but like you also have gotten <laughs> to the point where when you do a job, you also skim a little bit off of what they had because. Yeah. Your jobs aren't to steal, right? They're not you're you're not taking that money and giving it to someone. Your job is just to punish those who thought they could get away with messing with Asmodeus and Asmodeus has decided that it makes more sense to hire someone to go do it versus doing it himself because why bother when he can be collecting more souls? Exactly. I I mean, uh it's good benefits. Uh the corporate credit card definitely helps. Mm -hmm. Uh <laughs> Who no one's no one's gonna notice. Who's gonna no. know? No. Who's gonna know? No, one. no one. So I'm I'm just jingling along <laughs> with all of my coins. Uh and it gets to turning morning, and it's actually kind of been a while since you've not slept on either a caravan or like out in the woods. So it's actually kind of difficult for you to fall asleep at, in the inn. Mm. And as you lay tossing and turning in bed, the sun starts to peek through the window and you hear it. The first scream of the morning. A loud scream and then bells and then whistles. And then the, you can hear the, the, the local guards screaming and, and, and running through the streets. And that, that made not sleeping through the night worth everything. He's right. It is good music. <laughs> is there anything you're going to do during the day? Um, I'm probably like, I'm assuming there are like food stalls and stuff like that around. Yeah, I mean, the inn itself serves breakfast. Sweet. Um, I'm probably going to go down and eat as much food as I can possibly fit in me because like yeah don't really get to eat much when we're in a caravan everywhere yeah um, demons don't need to eat so he, he continuously exactly. forgets about it <laughs> so I just I just gorge <laughs> um yeah you you go downstairs and and they've got chicken and they've got meats and they've got veggies and bread and, and cheeses like they've got all of the fixings and you go down there and you start to devour it and something catches you on the corner of your eye. It's the drunk from the night before sitting at the end of the bar, looking down into what looks to be like a bowl of, of porridge, just like mush as he takes his spoon and digs into it and kind of just opens his mouth and he puts it Ugh. in. Still drunk. Do you say this out loud? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm asking you. Does he still look drunk? Yeah, and in fact, you see in front of him is a beer. <laughs> what a champion. Uh, how close is he to me? 
he's at the end of the bar, so maybe, you know, 10 meters. <laughs> I see what you did. That's far, man. That's yeah. really far. <laughs> it's like 30 feet away. That's a good distance. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm it's just a big keep, bar. It's a big I'm, bar. I'm just gonna keep an eye on him. <laughs> just shake my head at how just absolutely disgusting. He's is he human? Yes. Uh, of course. So the sort of something typical. You see, as he puts his hand, well, his arm up, and you can see that his hand has been removed and is just a stump. Is that meant to make me feel bad? I don't care. <laughs> no, but roll me a d20. <laughs> 15. I will say that over the years and with that roll, you know that people will sometimes have their hands removed if they can't pay a debt. I was wondering if that was it. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I'm going to totally non-suspectly sort of get close enough into like, not, well, I'd say not close enough to smell his, uh, alcohol breath, but if, if you're drinking all the time, you can smell that like at least 10 feet away. So like close enough, I just like plop down. I pretend that I'm like, oh, I needed to get like this utensil that is over here so i'm just gonna sit here now with my uh much better breakfast than your shitty oatmeal <laughs> and as you get closer he he kind of looks up at you and for a second it hits you you're like it you flash to the last moments of seeing your father and you see like a much older version of your father sitting there and he looks up at you and you yeah, finish that. Yes, I am. Oh. Are you going to finish that? And points at the beer. Oh, I have a beer! And he grabs it, and he you can see that he reaches with his other hand, but then, like, just pushes his nub up against it to hold the beer up. Like, it's looks. it seems to be fairly new that this has happened. Huh. So, uh... It's harder to pick that up with the, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a. They call it a prosthetic. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a hand there for later. But I gotta, I gotta deal with my finances first. <sighs> and you, you, as he says that, the bartender goes, "Your finances." As in you don't have money to pay for what you're eating? No, 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 no man. I totally have enough money to pay for this and then he starts running like he gets up and he just starts running out of the bar before he can even like get up quick enough i just stick my leg out because if he's that drunk yeah he's gonna trip over my leg i'm yeah. just casually I i'm i'm like digging in i got pancakes and the leg just goes out <laughs> all right roll me a d20 and roll me anything above a five. Ten. <laughs> perfect <laughs> yeah, you kick your leg out, and he just poof, falls flat on his face, and he looks up at you, and that, that flash of what your father looked like is gone. In fact, it's no longer a brown-haired man, but a white-haired man with blue eyes. Your father had brown. And he kind of it feels really weird, like really strange. And he scrambles to his feet and starts running out, and the bartender goes, ah, don't worry about it. Don't. It's. I knew he wasn't going to pay me, but I, f I feel bad for the dude, you know? Why? He's obviously got enough debts that he's lost the handle about it. Yeah, and I don't need to be the one that adds to it. You're too nice for your own good. You're just encouraging that kind of behavior. Look, you won't get better if you keep doing that shit. Well, if you ever come down on your luck just know that you have a place here too and he goes back to continuing to clean up and, and prep th things for the day it feels kind of any... weird after that <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to do um is there 
a place that maybe sells baked things. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, the bazaar, it's, this is a big town. This had, this had a, a huge church that you were outside of. You don't know how well things are going to happen because of the event itself. But mm. um, yeah, you head out to the bazaar. And as soon as you get maybe, you know, maybe 10 feet out of the door, when you get three three meters out of the door uh <laughs> uh you you get hit by by the smell of the bazaar itself which has tons of food and tons of knickknacks and jewelry and things that people make so much better than sulfur so much um she's she's beelining to try and find like honey cakes and also mm -hmm. to find any new like cool looking jewelry because she's a vain 18 year old to put on her horns and her ears sure and as you go through it everyone kind of is like looking at you and and keeps their kind of distance away but like when you go to a stall they talk to you right they're a little hesitant but and they you head to the first stall that has a bunch of like gems and jewels and stuff like that that are all not real like you mm -hmm. have an eye for this, but they look really pretty and they're like shaped in unique, different ways. And as soon as you get there, uh, the person goes, oh, um, hi, how are you? I am good. How are you going? I'm doing good, but man, uh, it has been a wild morning. Did you hear what happened? Oh my God. No, I, I haven't. I just came out of the tavern and I just had breakfast. What's going on? The mayor was killed. No. Like it's taking every inch of her not to just burst out laughing. It's like, and and she goes, me. she's like, I'm I'm gonna be honest. You should be careful. Uh, me? Why me? Because you're not from around here. So that immediately means that I I'm saying that the mayor is dead and the rumor has it this that there's two people that showed up last night and so people are maybe a little bit hesitant i mean if you don't want to serve a tiefling you just need to say so uh i'm telling you to be careful i'm not selling you to not buy from me there are two very vastly different things and hell if you were the one that killed him i mean he was kind of an asshole so i don't really care <laughs> but I'll take your money whether you go to jail tonight or not. See, that like that's not how that works here. <laughs> well, that's fair. Well, if I am some crazy murderer, at least I'll look stylish and I like pick out a few, a yeah. few things to put and, out to my horns. <laughs> and she like she like points over to like uh to like this chain, like this gold chain. Ooh. And she's like, you know, if you could get it on your horn, you could maybe like go from your horn to your ear. I've seen that before. It looks really pretty. I've always wanted to do that. And as you're as you're like excited about this, someone bumps right into you. Ugh. And you turn, roll me a d20 actually. 3 We're going back down, Jake. <laughs> you turn around and it's a small child running down the bazaar and the woman goes um, I immediately go to touch wherever my coins were. Yeah, yep. And you reach, and she go, and as you're reaching, she goes, "Um, after you catch him, you can pay me. I, I'll be right back." And I just go after that kid. Fucking kids! <laughs> it's like just casually, because I'm assuming that a, a tiefling of my age is going to be a bit faster than a small child. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, so you start running through the bazaar, go after that tr trying to duck and dive in between people as you see the small child turning back every once in a while, running as fast as they possibly can. Them being slightly smaller does give them the, the advantage of going through the crowd. But as you are getting closer, you keep seeing this child and you this child's wearing like a hood and the hood slides off and you can see that it that's a tiefling. A tiefling very similar to your color. Uh, 
I'm still going to go after him, but it does give me a bit of pause. Yeah, you kind of pause and you continuously ch uh, chase after them. Uh, roll me a d20 to see how well you are able to catch up. 12. Uh, you're able to start to close the gap on them, and they look back at you one more time, and it, it like, like it almost makes you stop dead in your tracks because it looks just like you as a kid. Like Uncanny Valley kind of looks just like me. Looks like you're looking at a mirror of yourself as a child. Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna. That's gonna stop me. <laughs> Like, as much as I love my money, like, that's what the fuck. Yeah, you stop dead in your tracks and you see the child getting out of the edge of the bazaar and them turn back one last time. And it is a small human boy. And he goes and turns around and runs into the alley, holding your bag. Motherfucker! <sighs> like, that's... That's fucked me up. <laughs> That's okay. No, this is fine. This is fucking weird. You hear a very familiar voice. Hey. What? Come on over here. And and you look in the direction of the voice and you see a very tall elf standing in the corner in the shadows. What do you want, you ugly fuck? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing running through a freaking town hitting people? I said Some... keep 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 a low profile and you're over here beating up people in the middle of a bazaar. I wasn't beating anybody up. These kids stole my shit. You you let a child steal from you? You you let an actual child steal from you. I thought you told me to keep a low profile. If I, like, tackle a kid in the middle of, like, broad daylight... It looked like you were going to, but you decided not to, but yet you still did some damage in the meantime. Were you watching me this whole time? No, I just saw a random person running through it and it made me have pause because I thought maybe I got to see a show of two people getting the shit kicked out of them, but no... I see you instead. I see you instead. Whatever. It's, it's what? fine. Did it have anything other than your gold? Well, no. And it wasn't all of it. I'm not stupid enough to keep everything in my coin purse. All right. You're fine. Yeah? Okay? Yeah. I found I found something out. I have to check into it. We might have a second job tonight here in this town. But I, I have to... Yeah, I know. It's really weird. But... That's... Mm. I know I, it's it's weird because it's not on the list, but I'm being told about it. So I'm trying to straighten some things out. A couple more hours, I'll have an answer. Okay, we'll meet you back at the inn, and we can talk about it. In the meantime, can you not beat up little kids? I was just trying to buy something nice for my, and I like sort of yeah yeah he re he, like, re oh. he, he, he reaches <laughs> out and kind of touches. Goes well, it looks good on you, all right? Thanks, about you. I, I think you're calling me an asshole, but I, I'm just going <laughs> to accept oh, it. Oh, no, and... trust me. You would know if I'm calling you an oh, asshole. Yeah, well, yeah, mm -hmm. I would, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, I'll be back, all right? And he, he turns and walks away. <sighs> going to go back for those honey cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get honey cakes with whatever gold I have left and then, like, head back to the inn and just chill out. Yeah, you get the honey cakes. Do you pay for the jewelry? <sighs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't like leaving debts unpaid. You know what I'm happens not that when it's kind of person. And you know what happens when you don't pay your debts. So exactly. I'm not that kind of person. I'm an asshole, but I'm not that much of an yeah. asshole. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Uh you go back and you pay them, uh, and and the, the woman says, Oh, did you did you catch the catch them they, they've been such a nuisance oh uh yeah but i let them keep just a little bit i mean well, that was that was I, extremely I feel, nice of you well they're doing it for a reason right 
I guess so. Anyways, have a nice day. If you need anything, uh, please c come back. And uh, also, seriously, be careful because they get a little uh, wild. Yeah, no more keeping coin purses on hips and uh, might wear my hood up for a bit. Smart like move. Very sickly sweet kind of. Okay, thank you. Goodbye and, now. And you like start to eat the honey cakes as you like walk back to the inn. Uh, and you can see that as you're walking back, there's at least two guards on every block. Okay. This is fine. I'm just a tourist. I'm here having a good time. I'm just eating my honey cakes. I'm just gonna... It's okay. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just doing my job. And you... Um, you make it back to the inn. No problems. Just guards all over the place. And as you make it in, the bartender's there still and goes, Welcome back. Stay in the night again. Uh, yes, I think I will. I mean, everyone's a bit shaken up with what happened today. So maybe tomorrow might be a bit more lively for me to, you know, go and enjoy the city. Yeah, I had people coming in telling me about all of that wild stuff, wild stuff. I know. I just, it, this kind of stuff is crazy. I mean, why do people do this kind of thing? I don't know. Uh, rumor has it he uh, he had an underground brothel that he was keeping away from people. He came up as such a goody two shoes, and at, things are coming up left and right. They went to his house, found an entire like dungeon underneath the no. house. It's wild. Oh my gosh, that kind of thing just doesn't happen, right? That's the kind of thing in stories. Yeah, it's it's wild. Mm. I don't. It's, it's wild. Anyways, well, um. Dinner is going to be served uh, shortly, so if you want to come by and get some food, you know. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. And time goes throughout the day, and 9 o'clock rolls around, and you hear a knocking at your door. Mm, who is it? It's your fairy godfather. <laughs> <laughs> Never say that again. And she opens the door. <laughs> Uh, he walks in and goes, all right, okay, so this one's a little different. We've got someone on our list, but um, it's not a human. It... Okay, that's a bit not normal. Yeah, yeah, this one's interesting. Um, and uh, I kind of asked for this one. Why? So you remember, you remember a couple years back, I, I kind of played a mean trick on you and I let you look at the mirror. Yes. So that mirror allows you to look at the darkest moment in someone's life. Any person you think about is the darkest thing that's ever happened to them. Do you remember the dealer that was there? It's kind of hard to forget that kind of thing. Well, what do you say about we go and collect the debt on his head? Did you take this one on from me? I can't hide anything from me now, can I? <laughs> Not a chance, but yeah. Again, that word, <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. I don't, I gotta figure out what language it is. You will never figure it out. Is, ever. is it, tell me this, is mm. it orc? <laughs> no, I don't even speak orc. <laughs> oh, Anyways, yes, I did it. So, uh, we got a hop, skip, and a jump away because, uh, he's, uh, closing out cards soon, collecting his own debts. Found out. He's collecting debts of his own and not oh. paying his dues. So we have the bet opportunity to do something. Bet the boss is very happy about that one. I mean, let's just say I didn't have to beg him to do it. <laughs> All right. 
there is one thing you have to be aware of. He shape changes. Oh, I mean, we've, we haven't really been up against the shape changer before. They've been mainly human. Yeah. So if he changes into me, if he changes into you, like we should have a code word or something that we say that we know that changes each time we use it. Okay. What do you suggest in your infinite wisdom? Numbers. Those are easy, right? Simple. I'll say, what's the code? And the first time you hear, first time I say that, you say one. You ask me what the code is, I say two. And then we, if we split up and we ask each other what the code is, the person that doesn't know is going to say one or two. But we know that the code is now three and four. Okay. Does that make sense? I'll say, hey, what's the code? What's the code? It's one. Hey, there you go. Hey. Okay. Right. You... This is... Thank you. All right. Don't thank me. Just kill him. All right. Uh, I'm going to clear out the space, and I'm going to leave you to him. All right? Okay. Let's go. And, and like as they walk, she's like sort of nudges into me. He's like, "You're going soft." Oh God, do I need to do more sit ups? <laughs> I feel like eight pack is enough. No, like. Oh my God! Stop! Put that away. Put that away. <laughs> Don't. It's not soft. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not one eating honey cakes. Don't think I can't smell that. It's <laughs> just. Look, none you're of a, that. But you're, none. you're a grown ass adult. You can do whatever the hell you want. I'm you just saying, break. don't judge me when you're over here eating I'm honey not cakes. I'm saying you're fat. Oh, I thought you were calling me fat. No. Because I have an eight pack. That shouldn't be fat. <laughs> no, I'm not saying you're fat. I'm saying you're going soft. Okay, you're going to have to explain this one because I don't understand that. And as you, like, walk out, you explain to him what it means as you it, you go through. And you, you banter back and forth for a while until you get to what looks to be a, a back door. And you just get hit hard with a flashback of seeing mm. this door. Oh, shit. I'm probably just gonna it's literally like the door hit me. I'm just stock still, just sort of staring at it. What's wrong? I, uh, yeah, yeah. I know this door. Um it's brown and is the rectangle. No, no, like not all doors look the same. What are you talking about? No, like, I've been here before, like, when I was really small. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you go through the front door? I, yeah, I, I think I will. Cool, 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 cool. Goes around the front. You go around the front and it is like a saloon almost. Like the front doors are wide open. There's tons of people playing games. People are playing cards. Some people are playing dice. They're just all a bunch of people just smoking, drinking, having fun. And it is loud. And something immediately draws your attention, which is a side door. Which there's a bodyguard standing right next to it. It's the only actual door door. Everything else is like a swing door or is wide open. This is the only <laughs> door that is closed and there's a guard outside of it. If it if it worked in this world, I would have totally like kicked the doors open and been like, howdy, but no. Howdy, um, partner. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Just swing a, swing a dagger out on my, uh, whatever. Um, okay. Um, I sort of feign interest in a few things maybe get a drink not to drink but to sip on so like a classy I have a lot of money drink sure 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 mm. and, and 
while you're there, someone walks up to you and, and leans up against the bar right next to you and goes, Hey there, cutie. How you doing tonight? Sort of like look over. Do I recognize at all? No. Not even a little bit. He's halfway attractive, but... Human? Yeah. And he gives too much of a bravado to really be like... Damn. It's more of a... <sighs> sleaze. Okay. No, well, I'm going to have a little fun. <laughs> I'll play this game. It's like... Hi. How are you? I'm doing just fine. I won a couple games tonight and uh, I had a little extra money to spend so I thought maybe uh, would spend it on something cute like you <laughs> stop but games you must be very good to win a lot of money oh well, lady luck was with me uh, tonight uh, maybe I can be with lady luck tonight and he uh, he like puts his hand a little <laughs> bit closer to yours <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Um, I was, oh, it's gonna take everything in her being to not just absolutely slit the guy's throat. So just sits there. Goes, oh, uh, what what did you play tonight? That's oh, won well, you so much. Uh, well, I played a little bit of uh, played a little bit of bones tonight. You know, dice. We like to call them oh. bones because you uh, just know they used to make dice out of bones. Not anymore. Really? Not anymore. We, a lot of people use wood dice. Doesn't have the right feeling. Mm. I'm not very familiar. I've never actually watched like a game. Is it a very high stakes game? Oh yeah, it's uh, get your get your heart pumping, get you really going. Oh, you know, much? I have a room up here tonight. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I can show you the inside of it. Well, I was hoping to see a few games first, obviously. I haven't really seen many, and I am someone who really likes adrenaline, so high, high stakes games. Uh, well, high stakes games, hmm. How's this, honey? Uh... I was invited to uh, some of the high stakes tables back in the back. Uh, oh, you must be very good to be able to get an invitation. Why don't you, uh, why don't you give me a little bit of sugar, and uh, I can take you back there. <laughs> oh, uh, and he like holds his cheek out to you. She sort of. Uh, steals herself like this isn't the first time she's had to play this game to be able to do a job so like grabs him by the chin kisses his cheek and then whispers in his ear you do a good job maybe you'll get more and then like flicks his chin uh he uh he pulls like a, a few uh like bills not coins but bills out uh and he reaches forward and he stuffs them down in between your cleavage. <clears throat> and then he puts his arm out and says, well, let's go. All right, honey. Just moves in. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, and you wrap your arm around his and he walks you over to the bouncer and he looks at you and the, bo the bouncer, that is, looks at you and him and goes, Get the fuck out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, me and my uh, my lady here, we were invited to uh, the back table of the big boss man. And uh, the guy looks at him, looks at you, and then looks up behind you. And he goes, all right. Do you, yeah, go for it. Can I peek and see what the hell he's looking at? Up on the second uh, second story, there's a man standing there with a large cigar smoking. Standing there, and he, he looks up to him. You can see him nod. And he goes, all right. And he reaches over, turns the knob, and opens it. And goes, 
Go right in. As she's going past, like, thank you, darling, and sort of, like, brushes against his arm. And you walk in, and the door closes, and you hear a lock from the other side turn. <laughs> That's fun. Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> you are in a very dark room with a single uh, light that kind of, like, pushes down onto a table. And you can see a familiar face behind the table. All righty. I heard we have some new players. Come on over to the table. Just saunter over, sort of pushing forward a little bit because I have a feeling it's a bit of a pussy. <laughs> yeah, he he kind of, you have to like literally kind of push it because he's like stops and then you're like. <clears throat> it's like, come on, honey, let's go. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sit down and there are four other people at the table. And he sits at the only empty seat as you stand behind. And he goes, all righty, everyone. Going to be playing a little, get a little bit of game of cards. But this is the high stakes table, which means it's at least a platinum each hand. And the guy literally goes, oh, ho, ho, ho. and he starts to push back as he... I push him into it. Um, I thought you said you were going to win for me. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I <sighs> platinum. Yeah, I just I didn't know if it was in this coat. I just <clears throat> and he starts to pull like he pulls a bag of coins out and pours out. Uh, a bunch of gold and he's like going through it roll me a 20 as he's counting this 18 uh, in the corner of the room you see two eyes glimmer and you recognize them very familiar to be your friend <laughs> that's good good to know I'm not alone in here and you actually notice that the dealer looks nervous and you can see that he continuously glances over at your partner as he reaches out and just takes all of the money in which the guy has. And he goes, look, you're a little short, but um, the house will hold you on to it. How's that sound? Deal? And he puts out a hand. <laughs> Internally, Mara's just laughing. Uh, the guy uh, uh, nervously uh, looks up at you and uh, looks at the guy and looks at the rest of the table and goes, yeah. Uh, yeah, totally off. You know, it's just in my other, it's in my other coat. Um, and of then course. he, and, and he goes, hey, sorry. and he looks back at you and he, he reaches up and he pulls the bills out of your shirt. Cause, um, maybe, maybe that will be a little less that you have to hold. Yeah. No, she's just holding my money just for a little bit, you know? And then he like, he like turns his shoulder so he does not have to look at you while, while, while the cards get dealt. My hands, like, are on his shoulders and my nails, which are pointy as shit, are digging in. <laughs> Just a reminder, occasionally squeezing. <laughs> Roll me a d20. 11. You see the card dealer hand out cards. But you see something, there's th something weird with how he's handing the cards out. He might not be pulling off the top of the deck, and you're not a hundred percent sure if he is or not. Hmm. He, your friend, picks his cards up, and he looks at them. He's got four aces in his hand. And he quickly looks at them, closes them, and sets them down and goes, hmm, uh, cards, card games, yeah. Mm hmm So that's some very interesting luck. Yes. It, do you say this to him? Yeah, just whispering in his ear. And and he, he looks up and he goes, ah, well, you know, you're my lady luck, so maybe uh maybe has something to do with how great you are and how great this night's gonna be. 
And you can tell that he's kind of like that level of bravado that he had when he first met you is back and almost like turned to 11. Like he's just like, oh yeah, whose turn is it? Your turn? Is it your turn? Who? Who's? Whose turn is it? Oh, the dealer's got to do some more stuff. My bad. My bad. Every 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 while. time he gets like super obnoxious, I just dig the nails in again. <laughs> Just, just for shits and giggles, because I'm sick of his bullshit. And he's like, oh, "Sorry, just getting a little excited." <laughs> oh, it's okay. And the rest of the cards get handed out, and the other people start to push more in on the table, more and more on the table. But he has nothing left, and he goes, "Well, look, I got nothing left, but I definitely want to stay in here. So, what can I offer? What can I? I got a house. I got a house. Well, who will take my house?" Yeah, my house. All right, let's just say my house is in there. My house is there. <laughs> yes, yes. And then yeah. they continue to put more and more in there. And he goes, "Okay, all right, y'all, y'all think you guys got something good, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna regret it. I tell you, you're gonna regret it. Regret it." And he goes, "Uh." What will you all take? What will you all take? I, I got nothing left. You got you got the, all the money I got here. You got my house. What can? And the dealer goes, ah, I don't know. How about your soul? And he just starts laughing. It's my soul. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, you're serious? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can have my soul. And the the dealer reaches out his hand. Oh boy. And I, he, I he, just. I get yep. my hands off him. I don't want anything to do with that right now. He reaches over and shakes his hand real heartily. He goes, all right. Who's flipping first? And the, the deal goes, we all flip at the same time. You ready? He goes, oh, I am red tea. And everyone flips over their cards. And in front, you see that he has a two, a seven, an eight, and a queen. And he goes, read them and weep. And the dealer goes, well, I'm sorry there, buddy, but um, you don't got anything. He goes, I, 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 don't, oh, I don't have anything. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not no, no, you. No, uh, and, and the dealer goes, look, buddy. Go home, sleep your night off. We'll talk in the morning, okay? In fact, why don't, why don't we all... You, that was a good game to end on, yeah? Don't you think? <laughs> yeah? And the, the rest of the dealer, the rest of the people are like, fuck no, this place is supposed to close in two hours. Well, something came up and I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'd love to collect your money, but maybe in another night. And... They all get really annoyed and start to lift up as this guy is literally just staring at the cards. You can see him literally crying as he's looking down at the card. But, but I had four four aces. Four aces. I had four. I sort of like help lift him up from the table because I'm 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 done. I just want to get this job over with and sort of look at him as I'm ushering him out. It's like, maybe stay away from gambling. Doesn't look to be your thing. And he, like, turns to respond to you as as you kind of push him out the door. Yeah, no. And, he's, yeah, he's and the door out. closes right behind <laughs> yeah, him. exactly. <laughs> and and uh, the the dealer goes, uh, you too, uh, Missy, uh, you got to go to. I, it's an important meeting I got to be in. Oh, Really? Well, I don't think I'm going to be intruding. And I sort of walk back to the table and lean down onto it. And your demon friend walks out of the shadows, not looking like an elf, but looking like himself. And he goes, oh, is she with you? You're dealing. You, you work. With, oh, oh, that's cute. That's cute. You've always had a soft spot for little girls. First of all, first of all, it's an eight pack. I am not soft. Anyways, <laughs> what do you two want? He goes, and, and your demon friend looks down and goes, oh, I'm not going to do the talking. No, 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 no. She is. She's got all the words. 
and all the skills. I'm just here to make sure. And he snaps his fingers and the locks to the doors literally just and lock. Just make sure nothing gets messed up. This is a nice facility, a nice place. I actually know the owner. Good guy. Good guy. Pays his debts. Unlike you, but that's none of my business. She's going to do the rest. Sorry. Didn't mean to get in this. And he no. steps back. He steps back. It's all good. Like, you're always very showy. <sighs> but he's right. A good dealer always pays their debts. She sort of like slowly walks around to the back of the table, dragging her nails over the top of the table as she goes. You know, you 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 look kind of familiar. I noticed it when you walked in. Really? It sounds like you're just trying to change the subject. No, 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 no. I do. You you look familiar. Sure. And by this time, you're like completely behind him. Yeah, I, I am. And my hands are sort of starting to... Nails digging into the shoulders. It goes, Ah, oh, yeah, this makes so much more sense. And he turns around. And as he turns around, he looks at you and it's your father. And he goes, yeah, yeah, this is where I know you from. And he stands up and he starts walking towards you. He goes, yeah. Yeah, you recognize me too, don't you? She's sort of backing up whenever he takes steps forward. Yeah, oh, you back to that little girl that you were when you came here? Yeah, I remember. I remember this dirtbag giving up his daughter's soul. I remember it all. <laughs> this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm just going to leave. You know, I think that's the best for all of us. He looks like him right now, doesn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. Head to toe, clothing, everything mm. that you you remember him looking like. So Mara sort of, she's shocked for a bit, but then sort of starts smiling. It's like, oh, I don't think you realize what kind of opportunity you've just given me. And like, without even thinking, daggers out and flies through the throat. Yeah, as you do that, you 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 stab the dagger right into his throat so far that the the, the blade sticks out the back of it, and he's just uh, uh, and and his mouth starts to fill up with blood, and he's looking at you like he's your father, and he's looking at you, and he's and he starts to melt away and look back like the demon that he was before and you you feel the full weight of him on your dagger as you pull out and he falls to the floor one day sort of cleans her dagger on him <laughs> like on his clothes I'm not getting my clothes messy and uh, your friend walks up and he says, it was, uh, it was the best I can do. He's still alive, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. I uh, kind of keep tabs on him. Do I even want to know? When you want to, just tell me. But until then, let me do it. Let me deal with that burden. And maybe one day his name will come up. But until then, I don't think it makes sense for me to tell you where he is, what he's doing. But I guarantee you his name will come up on that list. Men like him don't change. I know. I've done a lot. We're top of the line if he ever comes on the list. 
Everyone knows it. Trust me. Thanks. Now let's get the fuck out of here before people start asking questions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just grabbing some of the money and just fucking it as they go. <laughs> and the two of you head out that back door, uh, that same back door that you walked in years ago. As we're walking through the threshold, I sort of like pause and I like grab him by, I'm assuming the bicep because he's tall as shit. Um, and sort of goes, you'll be there with me when that day comes, right? I wouldn't have it. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. Pinky promise. What the fuck is a pinky promise? Pinky <laughs> promise. And she like sort of goes around and looks in. Okay. Deal. Are you gonna take my pinky if it doesn't happen? What? What is? How does this work? <laughs> I and she looks. She explains it as they walk. <laughs> and the two of you head back to the caravan, and you move on with your adventures. And that is where we're going to end today's oh, episode. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love that. Yeah, oh. I. It, it's so fun because like a lot of people have never done one-on-one -on -one sessions before, and I love yeah. them so much. They're so fun because like you get to get more of who the person is, you know. I like role play is one of my like top things. Like obviously, everyone saying my combat is absolutely trash because my <laughs> I read numbers really weirdly in my brain. But like role playing is so much, and this this was my first like one-on-one -on -one session this is so much fun i would love to do this again <laughs> well hopefully we'll have more opportunity to do that in the future Yay. uh all of you thank you so much for joining us and watching it if you liked it make sure to if you're watching the vod make sure you like and comment and if you're watching this live well thank you for being here and watching it uh as live uh you can reach out and find me online at indigo qt or you can find more of what awesome stuff we do at underscore q times but Valkyrie, why don't you lead us off and tell us where you can be found? Well, I have been the wonderful Valkyrie, if I do say so myself. And you can find me at Valkyrie Star XO, as in Kiss Hug, on Twitter and Instagram and also on Twitch. I'm coming back from a break on Twitch. So hopefully by the time we, you know, get back to things, I'll be back to part-time streaming. So that will be nice. So if you want to ever... Hit me up and join us there. Uh, Valkyrie Star X. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You good? I, I'm not laughing at you. Uh -huh. I'm not laughing at you. I am I am I am laughing at the fact that we've been live this entire time. <gasps> <laughs> Jake! <laughs> 